Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Black Sad. First things first, this camera I'm using right here, it didn't record last time. And I'm in full costume, I'm doing the gameplay like normal, no video. So we got the gameplay, so the video went up. However, I did play more, but the checkpoint system is really weird on this game. So I've played some of this before, and I'm going to splice in the old failed footage because it was fresh, and then... Now that we're filming now, I can add the new stuff. So we're going to start off with the old footage, we'll move into the new footage, and gradually I will reappear halfway through the video. But, big apologies, I think that having the costume, it makes my gameplay a little bit different from what other people are doing with this game. And thank you for your patience, thank you very much. And yeah, let's get back to the game. Promise me, Promise you me. won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're, like not, to just we're not just vigilantes. vigilantes. Gun. What the hell? Bang, 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 bang. A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. Bang, 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 bang. You're dead meat, cat. That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> I mean, yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. I mean, can we trust that guy? Who is that? Can we trust him? I know how to pick my men, John. You? I'm not so sure. You promised me you wouldn't intervene. I mean... I kinda had to. Bobby Yale attacked me. I had to do something. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided his assault. Anyway, what's done, is done. Dude, you need a light or something. There we go. I got you. I mean, I think I do. There we go. <laughs> when... When exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. Uh, when I discovered the murder weapon was his, or I'm not sure. I'm still not fully convinced. I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? Um, Don wanted to call the fight off. I know Don wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did. But I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. In cool, exchange, cheers, pal. drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Uh, she's been through a lot. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I mean, I will, no problem. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake. I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. 
better than most would have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. I mean, fared well? What do you mean? Do I look like I fared well to you? So is this guy... We gotta be suspicious of him. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust. That it's natural and well-founded. I mean... Why do we not trust reptiles? Oh, what's the name of this guy? Dr. Palmer? Okay. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah! Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. Uh... Would he be ready to fight? Or what's the current condition? What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack, after all. Okay. So that fight wasn't good for him. Don't smoke in a hospital. Just don't. I don't want to see you. The doctor told me to sleep. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. Okay, so this guy is a boxer, but heart attack, that's a bad business. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying, but it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. Okay. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. Uh, what else can we look at? It's knuckles. He's clenching his fist. A sign of contained anger. Clenched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. This I'm guy sorry, doesn't like us. But You just have to put up with it. Sorry, dude. I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with me. For now. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. Alright, I'll just cut to the chase. So, let's ask this guy, who killed Dunn? Who killed Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. Um, he was too short to hang himself. Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. So, it's true? He was murdered. Uh, he wanted to call off the fight though. I know Dunn threatened to call off the fight. Why? How do you know that? I'm a detective. That was his anger talking. He never really meant it. That doesn't matter. Why was he so mad at you? What did you do? Nothing. Joe thought that I wasn't training hard enough. That I was going to lose. Alright. Let's just say that I... I believe you. Okay, so... This guy didn't kill Joe Dunn. They were quite close, so... The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a mo- I... I don't know. Uh... What about Desmond? Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jake Ostiambi. Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. Okay, uh, let's talk about Jake then. 
Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. Uh, Jake, Jake's a friend, <laughs> so... Never mind. That's fine. Sonia? What about Sonia Dunn? Sonia? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe me. Which just leaves Frank Cassidy. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. That made others think twice. And Cassidy ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. Black Sad. I think I owe you an, um... Uh, you know... My father disappeared when I was six, right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Who knows where I'd be if Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later, he still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. Thanks. Okay, um, thanks for the information. Thank you for... Okay, he's fallen asleep. The medication's kicked in. This guy is completely asleep. Clues? Oh, a new deduction. What is this, though? Cigarettes. The number of cigarette butts is inversely proportional to my hours of sleep. Ah, uh, Damn. This guy's run out of cigs. Okay. This guy's still asleep though. His heartbeat is kind of chilled out a bit. So hopefully he'll make a full recovery. What else can we look at? Is that eye movement normal? Uh, what else? The fist. The hands say a lot about what's going on inside a person. Okay. He seems restless. Should I tell someone? Oh, is he ever another episode or something? Uh, what was that? What was down the bottom on the floor? Hello? Floor? There's definitely something. There it is. No. You see how small it was? What? Where was it? What was it? Black Sad, get out of the way. There it is. It's such a narrow bit. You've got to be right on that corner. Let's check this out. Oh, shoes. Let's check out his shoes. Has he got paint on the bottom, maybe? Ugh. Oh, they stink. But <laughs> Those shoes look clean, though. The shoes smell like a dead man. Okay. Um, New clue. And Okay, let's hit this button. Hello. That guy might be dying. Can we please help? See, there's no fever whatsoever. He must be having a nightmare. Are you sure? Wouldn't you have nightmares too after what he went through yesterday? I know I sure wouldn't sleep. I have nightmares myself, but those go way back. Oh, the poor thing. Do you know what my nightmare is? It's that... That witch I have to work with. Oh, good thing she's got trauma surgery at 12.30, but I wish it were a little sooner, you know? Okay. Anyway, thank you for letting me know and, and for bringing him in. You don't know how excited I am to be involved in a criminal case. Okay. It might not be important, but I need to take a look at his medical report. Okay, we got new deductions we can make. So what are these? Let's have a think. 
Yo, she smell like a dead man. Uh, who do the footprints in the gym belong to? Yeah. No, the footprints don't match. If Yale killed Dunn, he did it without stepping in the paint or in different shoes. Okay, that's good. Oh, new deduction. What is this? So we are making progress putting these pieces together. I'm not sure. We'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. So over here, there's a phone. Let's let's catch up on some people. Let's call um. Let's call Weekly. Maybe he's got some new clues. He might have found something for us. I like where Black said holding his phone. It's like, it's like here. <laughs> his ears are up here though. Um, next up, um, let's call Donna. I think this is Black Sad's sister. She features in the comics at one point. Hello. Hi, Ray. Uh, hi. Who are you? Take a guess. I already gave you a clue. I know your name, so. So. Uh, let him think about it. Your silence isn't helping me one bit. Although, I do know someone very quiet. Your, your Uncle John! That was easy. Uncle John! <laughs> I guessed it! Mom, it's Uncle John! I guessed it! You got me, Ray. Congrats. What did I lit? Hmm. What do you want? I want... I want... A gun! No. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> no! Bang, bang. So, let's let him think about that one. We're being quiet today. It's okay. Hmm. I don't know. Oops! Mom's coming! Bye, Uncle John! Ray, is that the way you say goodbye to your uncle? Oops! Love you, Uncle John! Now go put on your jacket. We're late. Bang, bang, bang! What a surprise. How are you? Hey, Donna. Bang, bang, bang! Uh, we're fine, thanks. We're doing okay. Everything's fine. Don't you worry about me. I do worry about you. Especially when you tell me not to. Busted. <laughs> yeah, can't argue with that. Hey, we're kind of in a hurry. Ray's got a dentist appointment. I'll call you soon, okay? I'm really sorry. Sure. One last thing. Ray, hurry up. We have to go. Love you, sis. And I love you, little brother. Okay, now I really have to go. Bye, John. Bye, Uncle John. Okay, so in this dark and dreary world, at least we have some family that looks after us. Um, let's try Mrs. Colbert. Is this the guy that the rhino is cheating on? Oh, the, the wife of the, the wife of the rhino. Hello. Yeah, Black there Sandy. we go. Please don't tell me my husband. Oh, he did buy us off, so we got to go with that. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Yeah, he, he bribed us, so we've got to be good to that. Um, we'll call the gym. We'll keep everyone up to date on what's going on. Dunn's gym. Sheikh Ostiambi speaking. Oh, uh, get Sonia. Jake, it's Black Sad. Could you get... I have work to do, John. Call you later. Oh, thanks very Ronald, much. get on that ring! No. <laughs> Okay, we phoned round, but it wasn't hugely successful. Let's keep moving. Is there anything here? Uh, let's keep exploring. So we're in this hospital. This guy has had a heart attack. But we need to check his medical file in case it's something useful that we need. So, who's this? Hi. You're awake, handsome? Um, let's have a look at her. Oh, these glitches are still here. Uh, there we go. Rena. Cool. Uh, what else can we look at? Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Cigarettes, 25 cents. Cheap. So cheap. Uh, oh, there's the lady we were talking to earlier. So here we go. Typewriter, is it? No. The sh surgery shifts. They ran several tests on Bobby Yale last night after admitting him. Have the results come in yet? Hmm. No, I don't think so, handsome. Okay, what about cover a pack of cigs, please? I'll take a pack of Morley's, please. Honey, get me a pack of Morley's for Mr. Handsome. Yeah, it's so weird to me that you can get cigarettes in a hospital today. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Just got the light up right next to the guy who had a heart attack. <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. <sighs> I won't be able to read Yale's medical report if she's around. Okay, so this, this nurse, she's got an appointment at 12.30. So we either have to wait or maybe get her out of the way somehow. There's the report right there. I think that that'll probably do it for this video. We're now up to date. We're recording again on the camera and that is a good thing. So yeah, this is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.